established. I think we're good there. I just had a hell of a thing happen to me. We're down to the last three episodes, and I recorded them, and unfortunately it recorded wrong with no audio and a whole thing, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. We're just going to finish it up, so no worries. Let's get to it. I hope you guys are excited. I know I am. Found out some stuff that was a little sad, but... Um, what can I do, right? So let's let's hop to it. And now, Fillmore. Today's episode, This Savior, a Snitch. Act one, the art and the frame. Yeah. Today wasn't supposed to be like this. I wasn't supposed to be protecting a petty thief. I wasn't supposed to be running from thugs through a custard war. And I wasn't supposed to be accused of a crime only kind of committed. Uh, Jamie, what's with the mac and jack attack, man? The mac and uh. cheese is a little gift from my new student catering company, mm -hmm. Jamie Townsend's Top of the Class Catering. It's for students too busy making a difference at X to get to the cafetoria. Students like you safety patrollers, you know, the people that really matter around here. Yeah. Everybody matters, Ooh. Jamie. Uh -huh. That's a crazy Well, statement. enjoy. That's a gallon of heavy cream in there. That's a whole lot of mac. <laughs> a gallon of Not heavy for cream for mac and cheese is a lot, dude. Fillmore, third, we just got an anonymous tip. There's gonna be another lunch bag shakedown between third and fourth period. Let's go. Oh, ah. Can I sit this one out, Vallejo? Can you sit this one? Folsom is this close to turning this office into a mineral spa if we don't bag these thugs. And you wanna warm the bench? Yo, Listen, did you I not know. see that this it's man just... just mac and yo, he had a lot it's of mac, like bro. A brick. Meanwhile, some poor sixth graders being bullied out of his egg salad. As safety patrollers, it's our duty to assist and protect all students. You're right. Dog. Heavy cream. <laughs> Pasta coming at ya! We're live for the Pasta Masterpiece Art Extravaganza with Officer Cornelius Fillmore. Jamie Townsend of Jamie Townsend's Top of the Class Catering tells our sources that you simply love macaroni. Right now, I hate this stuff. <laughs> oh my god. No, I don't blame you. Anything on your end, Fillmore? Nothing. Unless you count my stomach rumbling. I think our anonymous tip was whack. Sounds like he's about to See die. See you back at HQ. Like... Ten four. Help! It's on. Ow. Somebody help! Drop the sack, McAllister. Ex middle school safety. Yo, my man. Took. No, my book has more characters. I remember being through stuff like that when I was in school. Ooh, nice, bro. Students and members of the press, welcome to this year's Pasta Masterpiece Competition. As this Pasta year's judge, I am proud to announce our first place winner, Frankie Polk. Frankie Polk. Hey, be the first one to go backstage and see Frankie Polk's it's prize Augie. winning sculpture. Hey, Augie. Only five clams. I haven't seen you, you take in custard? <gasps> Get that slop away from me. Custard gives me painful hives. Plus, it don't Ooh. cash too well at the bank, see? Painful Out of the way, Roach. It's a macaroni hey, hat, just like that chick. It's five bucks tomorrow. But today, tomorrow. a VIP entry on the house. Hey, how come he got in free? Get in? Hey, hey, no one's allowed backstage. I in fact, I'm here guarding the door for the safety patrol. Oh, hello, Officer Fillmore. Take off, Foggy. I got bigger fish to fry. And you, 
You're just a shrimp on the Barbie, baby. Sure thing, Officer Fillmore. Shrimp on the Barbie. That's wild. I saw you come in here, McAllister. Your lunch bag stealing spree is over. Nothing's done till you catch me, chump. This year's winner, Frankie Polk, has managed to capture dignity, power, grace, and beauty in nothing but 12,000 pieces of pasta. 12,000 pieces of pasta is crazy. Principal Folsom, how do you plan to deal with the epidemic of lunch theft currently hitting X? Burn the Burn. We're here to honor the talent and hard work of X's pasta artists, not discuss school policy. But Principal Folsom, my readers want answers. Then tell your readers this. As a deterrent to any future hooliganism in our hallways, I have initiated a three strikes, you're expelled policy. A move up from the previous two strikes school, and you're in serious trouble. Face it, McAllister. You're busted. I hear you used to run with the bad boys, Sashi. I never figured you to be that cool. Sashy. Some call it cool. I call it stupid. Stupid enough to get a few strikes on your record? Taking you down's a home run, baby. I think the orange has made you soft. From what I hear, you patrollers sit around munching Mac all day. Yeah. Come on, man. Man, get this stuff away from me. What now, Sashi? Bust me or save the statue of Principal Folsom? This isn't over. Wanna bet? Strike three. Principal Folsom, do you really plan to back up this three strikes rule? Read my lips, Vern. I never go back on my Folsom word. Folsom seems like that kind now, of teacher. Please bring out the Principal? winning pasta masterpiece. Ooh. Damn. Wow, he really hates macaroni. <laughs> Dog. It's not like that. There are are art for macaroni. Oh my god. That was pleasant. Let's see what's in the news today. Art or macaroni is hilarious. Fillmore, I hate macaroni. Principal Folsom, I told you. I was about to bust Scooter McAllister. He says he was helping build the rock climbing club's new rock wall on the south side of school. But Jamie Townsend says he didn't see you or who was bullying him. This is not going down like this. Oh, I'm afraid it is. Redcliffe? Cornelius Fillmore. Eight previous counts of juvenile delinquency, including chalk boosting, a comic book poker ring, the chalk gymnasium boosting. chili spill. Listen. That was a long time Chili ago. Chili spill. And a long time ago, I ate two quarts of Rocky Road after an unfortunate breakup, and it's still on my hips. The past doesn't disappear, Officer Fillmore. And if it wasn't for your irrational hatred of macaroni, this would never have happened. <laughs> irrational I don't hatred. Hate... Principal Folsom, look, I was set up. Just give me a chance to clear my name. I've scheduled a student council hearing on the matter this afternoon. Bring me proof that you were after Scooter, and the third strike will be erased. Otherwise, I can't help you. I gave my word that I'd back up the three strikes you are expelled policy, and I never go back on my word. Ooh, yep. Act two, tale I hate of macaroni the is hilarious. Say it ain't so, Fillmore. Say it ain't so. It ain't so, really. Tell me you didn't push that statue, Fillmore. He did, but not in the way that you think, man. Jamie, you saw me out there. Back me up, man. I'm sorry, Officer Fillmore, but I only saw you in front of the cafetorium. I've given my statement. I don't know what happened backstage. Jamie remember anything? No, he remembers, but he's too afraid to help me. McAllister must have got to him. Where is Officer Fillmore? Frankie, check it out. I'm sorry about the statue. What? Oh, actually, I was quite impressed with your rebellious act of deconstructionism. Then what's wrong? Deconstructionism. Augie Sandstone is selling official macaroni pieces of the destroyed Folsom statue. Ha! I would never use such a low-grade pasta. Augie. <laughs> yeah, sounds low like Low-grade pasta. No, Augie saw me. He was right outside the backstage door. I'd forgotten about him. Maybe Scooter did too. 
Frankie. And where's he selling this stuff? If only I knew. But the hallways are replete with it. Not much to go on. Wait. <laughs> Smells like apples. Disco. Let's check the apple orchard. You guys Thank have an you, apple Officer orchard? <laughs> this may be the best con yet. Looks like we got you over a barrel, Loggy. Hey, a dollar a bag of pasta. This? Uh, I'm taking the worms out of these Granny Smiths for my uh Granny Smith, Weatherby, Sansom. Well, I got something <laughs> else you can do. You're the only Sansom. one who saw what went down backstage yesterday, man. I want you to testify that I was chasing Scooter. Yeah, I'd like to, but I got a manicure booked. Then we're taking you in. Hey, come on! I was just busting your chops, officers. Go ahead, set me up on that stand. I'll sing for you like my mama's canary. <laughs> my mama ain't got a canary. <laughs> what a thing to say. Wow, that hat though. Very recognizable hat. Oh, so they guys got a pogo. Oh, there's a bunch of them hey, on pogo. Hey, delicious! My whale barrel! Safety patrol emergency. Thank you, kid. You confiscated pogos. Ooh. Nobody deserves that kind of wipeout. We need the school nurse at the orchard, stat. Ooh. The old bait and switch. Well, if it ain't Augie Sansom. I heard you were out at the apple orchard. Yeah, apple a day and stuff. Got some nice moves. You know, there may be some room in our organization for a little Weasley kid who can ride a wheelbarrow. Great. For a Great. little Weasley um, kid. I'll pencil you guys in for sometime next week. I don't think you understand. It's not a choice. See, we can't have you talking at that student council hearing. Look, your favorite celebrity. <laughs> your favorite celebrity. Go, Augie, Even if go. you do get to that hearing in one piece, what do you think's gonna happen when everyone finds out you're a lousy snitch? Snap. He's slicker than I thought. What now? Officer Fillmore, you gotta protect me. Let's make a deal. You testify at the hearing that you saw me chasing Scooter. And we'll keep you safe. Uh-uh. No go, Ossifer. I'm already a nobody at X. <laughs> but I got my angle. It works for me. People find out I'm a snitch, and that's over. Nobody's a nobody, man. Everybody matters for something. I mean, you want to be somebody? You got to step up, Augie. Start caring about peeps other than yourself, dog. There's a penny for your thoughts. Next time, keep them to yourself. Then keep choosing wow. to be a nobody. Wow. Fillmore, like him or not, Augie needs our protection. Yeah, and there's probably somebody else out there getting their lunch nabbed. We've got better ways to spend our time, Ingrid. We can't pick and choose who we help. Like you said, everybody matters. <sighs> Even Weasley Khan's like Augie Sans. Damn. I prefer Crafty Grifter. Crafty Grifter. Let's get you out of here. You're in eighth grade. You shouldn't know what a grifter is. Or seventh grade. You guys shouldn't know grifters. <laughs> Unless your family is a set of grifters. Just trust me, man. But who knows? I mean, in all reality, maybe your family is a bunch of grifters. That's where he got it from. Dude, lock the door. We're trapped! The clock strikes three. Here's the deal, Fillmore. Give us Augie, and we'll think about letting you and your partner go. We bought some time, but not much. Why don't you use that time to get me someplace safe? How about the student council hearing room, Augie? That's safe. Nice try. Ingrid, <laughs> come in. Boss, we'd lost him. Ingrid, where's Fillmore? Oh, We're dude. on our way. Worst time to be calling on the radio. Oh. Crackers, the battle.
Battle of Yorktown. The history and home ec departments are reenacting the Battle of Yorktown today. The deciding victory of the American Revolution. Oh. Ooh. Custard, if I get hit by that stuff, I'll swell up like a six dollar ham. I asked you to protect me, not throw me into a war zone. Bro, got you don't get to pick the Revolutionary choose, okay? War or Scooter and Thugs. For a second, this theme sounded like the start of recess. It was kind of awesome. I can't do it, I tell you. I can't. Just leave me here. Let Scooter have me. Anything but custard. I'm not leaving you, are you? Okay, I'm here to protect you, man. And that's what I'm going to do. You got to trust me. Now let's do this. Excuse me, Mr. President. Safety patrol emergency. Washington's charging the field. Target Washington and fire. Fillmore, they're firing on us. Dog, Augie, you grabbed General Washington's helmet. I got kind of a big noggin. It was the only one that fit. Incoming! <laughs> Ugh. Custard. Ugh. Gives me hives. You too? But you took that hit from me. I said I'll protect you whether you testify or not. That's what wearing the badge is all about. Though I guess I won't be wearing it much longer. Now that Scooter set me up. Scooter? Scooter couldn't set up a tripod. What? Have you seen the guy? He's all brawn and no brains. You ask me, somebody else is running the lunch bag racket. Talk. You're right. I just can't believe you. What now? I just gave you a valuable piece of crime solving <laughs> information at no charge. Exactly. That nobody junk you were spouting just doesn't play. You got a good head on your shoulders, and you ride a mean wheelbarrow. So why are you selling yourself a short? Mean and maybe that's all people are buying. Guys, Folsom's ready to start the hearing. Where are you two? Just the southeast entrance it, to the school. Do what you can to stall. We're on our way. What? I never said I... You don't have to say a word, Augie. But the only way to keep you safe is to keep you with us. And right now, we have a hearing to get to. That's true. They do. Don't worry. We'll find them. This is rough, Augie. I mean, if they find us, we may not be able to protect you. We can't just sit here, Fillmore. You've got to get to that hearing. I know, but the best way to keep Augie safe is to stay put. But if you miss that hearing, you're booking a one-way ticket to Expelsville. That's the way it's gotta be. What? You can't just throw in the towel. You're too good for that. I've watched you today. You're smart. You're fast. You know all the secret passages around here. Sounds like someone else we know. Listen, Augie. I don't blame you for woven down today. You're all right. And if you ever decide to turn things around, you look me up, all right? I'll put in a good word with Vallejo. Hey, Wait! That's the I got an idea! Boss, they're on their way. Ooh. Ingrid's gonna go the other way. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, never mind. That wasn't Ingrid. Ingrid's with Fillmore. Did you see that? The black hair? Give it up, Augie! Quick, in here! Whew. Thanks, Jamie. Glad to see you stepping up, man. Thank you for all the good work you've done for X. I'm sorry to see you get expelled. <laughs> Don't worry. Once Augie testifies, I'll be cleared. Oh. I'm afraid Augie won't be testifying today. Yo, my man's got the most evil... Jamie uh, Townsend. He's got You're the... the brains mm. behind the lunch bag. Oh, and the hands behind the I back. I should've seen it. Shoulda, the true evil coulda, did. didn't. You set yeah. me up. The Mac and Jack. School to tripping me. You had it all figured out. You were getting too close to stopping me. I had to take care of you permanently. 
Folsom yeah, Street you know what? Actually, this is really funny, time. but this is something they've been talking about for both seasons of the show. Doing it. But Bologna's the lunch, the lunch is being so stolen and stuff. His thugs to steal lunches from the students who didn't matter, and I'd sell them to the ones who did. Everybody matters, That's weird. Jamie. Well, right now, the only thing that matters to you, Officer Fillmore, is packing your locker. Because now that we've got Augie, no one's left to testify for you. Right, Augie? Wrong. Not exactly. Huh? What? Where's Augie? <laughs> In a dress. Being somebody, baby. And then Fillmore ran in after Scooter. I was watching and I saw Scooter trip Fillmore when Fillmore tried to stop the sculpture. And what were you doing at the backstage door? Uh, I was selling illegal backstage passes for five dollars a piece. <laughs> you do realize, by admitting that, you could also be expelled under the three strikes penalty? Did I say illegal backstage passes? I meant, uh, illegible. As in impossible to read because they don't exist. Fillmore's expulsion papers. <laughs> well, we won't be needing these anymore. You took down Jamie, eliminated the lunch bag extortion ring. Not a bad afternoon's work. What about the strikes? Am I still at bat? Strikes, schmikes. I'm going back to basics. Hard-nosed, case-by-case justice meted out by yours truly, and not some oh, yeah. lifeless rule. You've done good work for this school, Fillmore. I'd have hated to see you go. Of course, the school's repair bills would have gone down substantially. <laughs> hey, it's a small price to pay for justice. I'm just glad you're gonna be sticking around, Fillmore. Yo, for real. I couldn't have done it if Augie hadn't stepped up. What's gonna happen to him? Well, he's not going to be expelled, but, uh... Well, he's not exactly getting off scot-free, either. 10,201. 10,202. Oh. 10,202. Yo. That's already 10,000 pieces of macaroni. You That's sure insane. you're ready to face macaroni again? For somebody like you? <laughs> I'll give it Aww. a shot. That's adorable. Friendship! Yay. Okay, so, Keel Holmes, Chris Marquette, Michael Welch, Lucas Benkin, Debbie Derryberry, and Marcus Toma. Every time I see Vern Natoma's name, because I love the name Vern Natoma, like, it's a good time. This was a this was actually a really cool episode because this, as we're coming to the end of the series, got to tie up a little bow on one of the storylines we've been hearing in the background since season one, which was, you know, the stolen lunches. Like this is this keeps happening and then they've they've caught various people over the over the two seasons that have connections to the lunches being stolen. But no, you know, identifiable information until this point uh, with Augie. So, I mean, hey, look at that. Took near, took almost entirely two seasons to get to it. But I think that's actually really wonderful as well. Um, as we're reaching the end, you guys will notice, um, no offense to it, but I, I thought it would just be easier. Skip the intro. I mean, I really love the intro, but like, just to get past it, you know? <laughs> um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know I did, of course. Uh, did you guys have anything like this? Did you guys have, like, a bunch of stolen lunches at your school? Did you guys have... What the hell is that? That was a weird noise. Did you guys have any kind of school programs um, for, for lunch and uh, foods and snacks and stuff? Uh, we had a few different kinds, um, one for breakfast, if you paid a certain amount, they would give you, like, snacks in the in midday of class or something, it was, like, an apple juice box and, like, a bag of carrots and celery, some, something like that, it was, like, five bucks a month or something, something small like that, um, yeah, uh, please, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and, of course, leave a comment, love to hear from you guys. And until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.